Preserve life can be really hard sometimes, y'all. Like, you, you gotta, gotta pay. Yeah. Like, we we're getting fucking paid right and now. Shit. Mm -hmm. And you really have to pay your dues because mm -hmm. in a company. Everybody know how important a line is, okay? A line in my line video, like, okay? A line. We need a line. Line is we're getting haze. <laughs> haze. But I mean, it's like when nah. I try to explain to people, they'll be like, "Oh, well, um, why wouldn't you just want to leave PSA and go to JetBlue, bitch? Cause I don't want to be on reserve. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad. Yeah. It's really that bad." Now, I really was gonna write a post about that because like people think it's so glamorous and you just about to be taking flights and going here and there. Like, not like, like pulling your no. luggage through the airport. That's like my back hurts. Yeah. <laughs> my lower back hurts. Mm -hmm. hurts. All the time. Mm -hmm. I'm All hot. <laughs> yep. I'm here to <laughs> Yep. Yep. Stop asking and all I can afford is some chicken. <laughs> a bag of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of chicken though for four dollars. You get real lonely. Real lonely. Like, you remember in training? About flight attendant shit. Look, like, but remember in training, we're like, mm, I don't want to live with a bunch of people. I don't want to be with nobody. Now it's like, when you coming back? Can you come <laughs> over? Come with me. Hi, everybody. So, reserve life can be really hard sometimes, y'all. I'm just keeping it real. It's raining outside. I was on home reserve today and I had I had about two hours to myself. So I went to the grocery store to meal prep for the week just in case, you know, I did get a trip or anything. And now they've called me in to do airport standby. So I'm just a little bummed because I still don't have like any food prepared because I just didn't have enough time. So hopefully they don't use me. They actually did the same thing to me yesterday. I just wasn't able to vlog. It was just so busy. Um, I was on home reserve yesterday from 2.15 a.m. And they called me around 3.45 to come sit airport standby. And then they gave me a trip uh, to do a BGI turn to go to Barbados and back to New York which was like a 10 hour day of just flying so honestly y'all I was just exhausted so I was kind of looking forward to just chilling out um, at the apartment today without really having to do anything um, I love my job y'all know I, I really do enjoy this but there's nothing like knowing and being able to plan ahead and being on reserve you don't have that option like you just never know what your day may end up being like. So that can definitely be exciting. And then some days it's just, the timing's just not right, right? So right now I'm outside waiting on the shuttle to come, which is late. Should have been here like eight minutes ago, which is never good because I need to be at the airport by 440. And it's right now it's about 350. So, and usually it gets here to my stop at, um, on 45 and then gets to the airport on the 30. It comes once an hour. So with it running late means it might make me late, which I don't want to be late. Um, but yeah, and look at my cute umbrella that I bought y'all. It says looking for the sun because <laughs> it's not out and it sucks. But. So we'll see if I get a trip today. I'm packed. My bags are always packed. I'm packed for four days because I'm good for five. So I could possibly get a four day trip if they do um, end up using me while I'm sitting airport reserve. So I'll keep y'all updated. So guys, they gave me a trip after sitting airport standby for what time? 440 they called me around 8 after four hours of sitting they called me and said hey we're sending you on a three day so I am going to Buffalo and Boston I think and some other layover I had to check again but let's go have some fun so I am on the smaller plane today the E90 it's actually the E190 so let me just show y'all the galley on this plane. So, this 
emergency doors or just doors. Do, 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 do. My little jump seat. Oh, look, water bottle. The lav. Yeah, nice and clean and it doesn't smell. So this is my workspace, y'all. It's not a lot of space. And then we have a jump seater today. So usually this seat would just stay empty, but somebody is non-revving and we don't have any space in the cabin. So this is going to be it. So I have somebody back here sharing my space, which is not always that exciting. Good morning, y'all. I just finished a awesome workout. I'm trying to get into this routine. It's kind of difficult, but I'm trying. I just wanted to come out here. Like it looks so pretty out here. I love this hotel because they always have the cutest like decorations. Look how cute this is out here. Just come out here and sit and chill. And it feels good outside. It's cute. I'm not really sure what this is next door. I guess that's another hotel. It's not as fancy as this one. <laughs> All right, guys. So of course. Last leg of the day, and we're freaking delayed one hour, so that means I won't get to bed until like an hour later, maybe midnight, and then that shortens our layover, so <sighs> all smiles. Okay guys, good morning. Today is the third day of my three day trip, and it's actually going to be the longest day. We have four legs today, two of the flights are like an hour 30, and the other two are like two hours and 30 minutes so yesterday we had four legs also but they were only they were like 50 minutes each flight the only thing that made yesterday a long day was our last flight was delayed and then we had ground hold times going on and long taxi time so i'm in boston right now this morning so my layover got cut a little short like an hour hour 15 minutes um because of the delay that we had but hey it was late i wasn't gonna do anything but sleep like i did so we have a report time of 10 10 this morning i'm about to head downstairs meet my f1 get some breakfast and then hop on the shuttle so see y'all later well guys that is the end of a three day trip I worked nine flights, went to five states, six different cities, and I'm dead tired. And that's only worth like 20 hours of work, y'all. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. Good night.